Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making this amazing, moist and fluffy and downright delicious Italian cream cake. It is so easy to make, so if you wanna learn how to make it, then just keep on watching. All right, we're gonna start by generously greasing and flouring our nine inch cake pans. I got three of them. Okay, my oven is at 325, it's time to go. In a large bowl, we're gonna add in some regular old white sugar. I'm gonna throw in some butter flavor shortening. I love butter flavor shortening in my cakes, I always use that. Next, we're gonna add in some real butter, a whole stick of that stuff there. And then we're gonna just mix it until it is combined. Perfectly combined, okay? I think I have my uh, mixer like on medium speed or whatever. Just mix it until it looks like this right here. And don't forget you guys, you can always find my recipes on my blog, dwestoncook.com with a ton of other recipes. So go on over there and check it out. All right, I have separated my egg yolks and my egg whites. We're gonna set those whites aside, but we're gonna use those egg yolks and we're gonna add in one at a time or two at a time. One snuck in there, y'all see that? We're gonna mix it up, add the egg yolks one at a time and then mix after each egg yolk, okay? Just like that. Make sure you mix it up really good. You wanna get this nice and combined. I love saying nice and combined. I say it a lot, I know. And it'll look like this right here. That's pretty all yellow and stuff. But that's how it'll look. Now I have some cake flour and some baking soda. I'm gonna mix in my baking soda with the cake flour. Give it a little whisk it nice and combined, just like that. And now it's time to alternate between our buttermilk and our cake flour. Make sure you use real wholesome buttermilk. Don't do that whole um, cow's milk and lemon juice technique to make buttermilk. Go buy some buttermilk. We're gonna start with the buttermilk, mix it in, add a little bit of flour, mix it in, and then we're gonna repeat that process, ending with the buttermilk. Did that make sense? I hope so. You gotta keep up now, keep up. But that's how it looks when you get it all blended and stuff. That's a pretty batter. I love this batter. It's so soft and fluffy. So make sure you scrape down the sides as well. We're gonna make sure that everything gets mixed in. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, now I have some Mexican vanilla and some coconut flakes. These coconut flakes I have processed because my husband hates coconut flakes, the texture of them. So I have to really pulverize those bad boys and break them up so that he'll eat it because he will not eat it if I just put it in straight coconut flakes. Next I'm gonna add in my coconut, then I'm gonna add in my Mexican vanilla. I love Mexican vanilla, but you can use any kind you want to really. So just go ahead and just fold that right on into the batter. Just like that. And you guys, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. I will definitely get around to answer them. And if you're enjoying this video, let me know by liking it. I so appreciate it. All right, now here are our egg whites that we had set aside. We're gonna mix these bad boys until they are light and frothy and fluffy. Okay, so go ahead and mix them on medium speed. Just keep on mixing them until they get really fluffy. You want them to hold a nice stiff peak when you're done like that. Okay, and then just go ahead and place those fluffy egg whites into the batter. Go ahead and just fold them into the batter and just stir it up just until the egg whites are combined, okay? And that's it. You don't wanna over stir, you're gonna have a dry cake on your hands. All right, now go ahead and pour the batter evenly into three cake pans. I always, you know, get it uneven. I don't know why. There's like things you can buy, but I ain't got time for that. Okay, so go ahead and give them a little shade to get them nice and uniform. We're gonna bake this for about 25 to 27 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, let them cool in the pan for about five minutes, okay? They'll continue cooking for that five minutes. And then after that, go ahead and use a spatula or a knife, just kind of run it along the edges of the cake just to kind of loosen them up a bit and remove them from the pan. One may tear. I had like two that kind of tore up a little bit, but it's okay. Just gotta make sure you really grease and flour those pans like really, really good, all right? Now while the cake is cooling off, we are going to make that yummy frosting. I have my powdered sugar into a bowl. I'm gonna add in some softened cream cheese. I use two blocks, yes ma'am. And then a stick of butter because this icing, this frosting is not playing around. We're gonna mix it up just like this until it is super creamy like that, yummy. And you can also add in some vanilla extract. I couldn't find mine. I like lost it. I don't know how I lose like vanilla extract while I'm cooking, I don't know. But here's how it looks nice and fluffy. I'm gonna add in some more processed coconut flakes that I have put in a food processor and then some pecans. You can also add pecans in the batter, but I don't like to do that. I like to just put it in the frosting. I don't like it in the batter. It's too much, too much. All right, now go ahead and just stir that up and we are done. There's that classic yummy frosting that I love. Now when your cake has completely cooled off, get you a little layer and plop some frosting on it and just spread it all the way out to the end. Nice, even layer. Put on your second layer. And then just spread it out. I like this frosting because I suck at frosting, but I can frost a cake using this stuff because you can hide all of your messes. Like it's so easy to just, you know, disguise all your imperfections with this frosting. And now go ahead and, um, you know, frost your last layer just like that and then just clean up a little bit and we are done. This cake looks pretty. I'm so proud of myself. I did this, you guys. I frosted this cake. Ah. 
Then you're gonna cut into it and it's like crazy fluffy and just moist. Look at that, what are you saying to me right now? Yum, can you see that? Can you like tell how fluffy it is just from looking at it? I can tell like just by looking at it that it's nice and fluffy. Now that's it you guys, go ahead and dig in. It has a perfect vanilla, buttery, coconut taste. The icing is thebomb.com. And I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and that you will make it. And if you do, let me know how you like it, okay? Thanks so much for watching you guys, bye.